before we delve deeper and deeper into things, um, I want us to um, begin tonight from the point where you were given hundred thousand dollars wow. to spend within a week yeah. when you joined the brotherhood yes hundred thousand dollars mm. and you you had to spend that yes. within just a week just seven only. days yes why mm-hmm. it was just the first test like they always say it's the first test because um a young man of my age about hundred thousand and it wasn't given by one man or from the coffers of the brotherhood no it was 10 executives who were there at that time yeah and everybody gave ten thousand dollars each member gave ten thousand dollars so then, then it became um hundred thousand dollars then the brotherhood gave gave us a mansion mm-hmm. and a jaguar to you yes for what just for welcoming you into the brotherhood and and why did you have to spend was it was it mandatory to spend that yes, it was hundred mandatory. thousand in one week? Yes, in one why? week. Why? Why did you have to spend such money just in a week? <laughs> yes, it was part of the uh, rules. That it's a test. Now you've been initiated. Mm-hmm. There are more things ahead of you. This is just a one week journey. Mm-hmm. So it means if you are able to do all these things, then you pass the first step. If not, either you go mad or your descendants, your family start dying one by one then they would be dropping one by one if you are unable to spend that money yes. within a week yes within a week so you were able to spend it yes i did it within five days you spent hundred thousand yes, dollars five days how did you spend it i bought houses i bought cars i gave some out to charity to needy and stuff so within five days i was able to spend all this thing. how many houses did you buy mm. for the hundred thousand one the first um was I think like five houses with a hundred thousand was just mini mini houses Where? in Ghana yes. here? No, 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 in Lagos and Port Harcourt. I see. Yes, yes. yes. in Ghana here. Yeah. <laughs> like mostly, I wasn't um, doing all those things here in Ghana because mm. my parents are well known. They are, uh-huh. you know, yeah, Christians and believers. So mm. if it comes to here, Ghana, no, I need to be the the child they look me up to. Mm. But if I go outside, then like you just go do your thing there. And the people you spent it on, I mean, what 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 happened to them? As a recap, like last week, for instance, if I give you the money, then I pick up something from you. So it even started from there. The buying of people's destinies. Yes, the buying of their destinies started from there. So the hundred thousand dollars you need to spend it. You are spending it. Yes, people give it to you. So you also need to get something back. I see. Of course, the devil doesn't give anything for free. You are also operating a taxi business. Yes. Work and pay, as as they yeah. say. Tell us about it. Yeah. For that, it, it was here in Ghana. Yeah. Work and pay. You had a lot of taxis. Yes, yeah, a lot of you taxis. You gave out to taxi drivers yes. um, to, to to work pay. with yes. and then pay mm. back. Were they able to pay? Um, No. But some of them... In their way through the two years. I give you the taxi for two years. Mm-hmm. It's a two years, so it's work and pay. I don't charge you. I don't let you bring a collateral, as some of them are doing now. Mm. No collateral. No. Just take the taxi. Yes. I don't know you from anywhere. Like somebody who just introduce you, me to you, that, oh, I know this man here who does this and does that. Mm-hmm. So I give you the taxi and I tell you, okay, for two years. And I give you a bank account. So it means within the two years, you don't have to see me again. You just work and put the money. Yes. In. Work. And at the end of the week, Mm-hmm. You put the money inside, mm-hmm. so then it's been calculated. But then, before I give you the taxi, mm-hmm. because things has been done in the spiritual realm, I give you when the you taxi. Say things have been done. What do you um, mean? Yeah, like some sacrifices will be made on the taxis. W- w- then, the if knowing, you come without yes. the knowing of the taxi yes. drivers, you're like that is for the cars or the taxis. Yeah, yeah. Then, if you come and I take your pictures and your particulars, then I take it back into our altar. Then we weigh you if you, you are not a Christian. The sacrifices mm-hmm. and then take the pictures yes, of the uh, driver and the particulars <laughs> yes. to your altar. Yes. In order for you to be formal. Like because you you just can't come and I give you a taxi and you go. No. Like formality. Everybody does that. Let's see. Yeah. You fill a form and I ask you to bring two passport pictures. Mm. It's formalities. So I take that and then I put it into the altar. Because definitely you would ride where you stay. Mm-hmm. I'll get your photo. If you are married, it means you are married. The number of kids you have, so I know you. Mm-hmm. So if I get your picture, then we, we take you to the altar. Mm-hmm. Then we also do another sacrifice again. Onto your pictures and the particulars you brought. 
What sacrifices did yeah, you Yeah, there's a sacrifice. Basically, our sacrifices were children. Basically, the sacrifices were children. So, you, you, for the taxi driver, mm -hmm. you have given him a taxi, he's working with yes. it, but these are the things you do behind the scenes. Yes. Yeah. Take their pictures and their um, uh, particulars to the, to the altar. Yes. Yeah. And then sacrifice, make, do human sacrifice yeah. on them. Yes. Why? For what? Because I need to get what I give you back. So I give you a taxi. You think, oh wow, this man is He's really good. good. He's a really businessman. So let's say I buy Hyundai I-10 yeah. at a cost of about 10,000 Ghana cities. Mm -hmm. And you know the price on the market is 10,000 Ghana cities. Mm -hmm. And that if somebody gives it to you for two years, mm -hmm. the price needs to shoot up to maybe 25,000. Mm -hmm. But I don't give it to you for 25,000. Mm -hmm. I give it to you for maybe 15,000 or 18,000. Mm -hmm. Not so you'll be so much suspicious in it yeah. so then I, I give it to you at a rate that you'll be cool with it yeah then one if you come i don't take you any money mm -hmm. or any advance no mm -hmm. i give it to you mm -hmm. then because of the sacrifices i have made mm -hmm. on the altar mm -hmm. if i give it to you it's two things either within your one year and a half mm -hmm. get into your two years you need to get a serious accident that a car will be damaged i see that means that you won't be able to complete your two years so all the workings you've made, it's in vain. Wow. Then two, we give you um, um, a talisman mm -hmm. or the rosary. Mm -hmm. I don't want to use the word rosary because some Christians do use yeah. the rosary. But I want to use talisman. Yeah. So we give you a talisman, then you hang it, you hang it in, your, mm. in your car. Mm. So if you hang it in your car, that talisman, I need to give it to you. So I will tell you because I'm a Christian, I need to give that to you. So I give you the talisman. Yeah. Everything has been linked up with it. So what anybody who says they hang it to the car. Yeah, they just hang it in the car. I see they are Christians or Muslims or believers or something. I so see. if I give it to you, then you hang it in the car. That means anybody who comes in and out of the car of the car is being linked up to. So we pick you from there. Anybody who steps in. So if you step in in um, taxi one, mm -hmm. it means we have one. We have you. Mm -hmm. Because you've been linked to it, we get you, we, we get your particulars. Then we screen, we weigh you to see if you're a Christian. If you're not, then we pick you. So, so far as you've stepped into our taxi, you become our agent, just like that. And so, you are being saved. Or like you are being... So, you were initiating people... Without knowing. Without knowing. Yes, and we just visit by them. sitting in your taxis. Exactly. Exactly. If you dream, like sometimes during dreams, after you've been in a taxi... Mm -hmm. And you go to your dream like you would start to dream. Oh, I had this day today. I was here. I was here. Then we link you up into like the marine things. Mm -hmm. I feel like you you go into the sea and you are standing there mm -hmm. in your dreams. It's normal. But that but that is when we do the initiation for those people. So people sit in the taxis. Mm -hmm. You initiate and you connect yeah. them yes. to connect the altars by yeah. virtue of their spiritual weight. Exactly. And then. I mean, the initiation is done through dreams. Through they dreams. have funny dreams. Yeah. And that's how they're yeah. initiated. So what yeah. happens to people who get initiated like that? Some don't get married, especially like the women for you instance. You never get married? No. No. You would never get married. If you are fortunate to get married, then children would never come. You'd hey. be barren. If you are a guru, like a financial guru, and you sit that's in a car. rich. Yes, rich. And you sit in a taxi. Yes. Then like your, your business old be dropping your business will be dropping it will be dropping it will be dropping that's how it worked so how many taxes did you have hmm, how many taxes did, did i have <laughs> for that I, I i lost count i tried counting you know i tried counting but i i wasn't able to you have an idea i mean thousands of them not a thousand but within hundreds i within think within hundreds, hundreds yeah but a lot of hundreds of yeah. them. in ghana within hundreds in nigeria too <coughs> within hundreds yeah. you were running that same taxi business in nigeria yes. as well yes yes even in cameroon like we started in cameroon but it wasn't so much there than like ghana and nigeria i see yeah so um hmm. you had an encounter with um, a marine goddess when did it happen? How did it happen? For that, I, um, like one of my days, I mean, um, uh, chanting and doing those things, I don't normally want to call prayers because they're not prayers. Yeah. Calling the spirits to come into my room 
Mm-hmm. So yes, and she came, and she told me, excuse my language because she I know she came this. physically. Yeah, physically. Yes, and she came, and she told me she wants to have an intercourse with me. So then, I had to. How did she look like? Very beautiful. White lady. <laughs> so white or red? White. <laughs> <laughs> but very beautiful. Wow. Yes. Wow. Yes. And so did she eventually have that yes. affair with you? Yes, I was and supposed what to happened? have an affair with her. I was supposed to sleep with her, had sex with her. But then, because I was there in body, mm-hmm. so then she made me lie down. So I lied down mm-hmm. on the floor. Mm-hmm. Then uh, the soul mm-hmm. was taken out. Into Your the sea. soul? Yes, my soul was taken out. out. Yes, into the sea. So then that was when we had the intercourse and everything. So it wasn't a physical? No. No, it wasn't a physical, no. And were you aware when all this was happening? Yeah. Your, your soul leaving your body? Yes, and you see the body lying down. And you had That is a case that if you are not lucky and somebody comes to touch you or, sh- or just shifts your body, then you don't come back into your normal being again. Oh. Yes. So you, 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 you're dead? Dead and gone. And that happened in your room. After yeah, that happened. affair, yeah. how did that add to you? Yeah. She asked me, what do I want? I was still in the brotherhood. I had too many things, yes. But then she asked me, what do you want? And I told her I needed a job. You did it wasn't job. even, like, I just needed a job. But I just told her, oh, just give me anything, anything, like, because those things I... I had jobs, I had ev- in everything that I was doing. And she gave me an appointment letter to take it to one of them. And are you so rich to <laughs> yeah. demand for a job? So why would you ask for a job? No, I didn't ask for a job. I told her I need anything. Anything? Yes, anything. Mm-hmm. Like, just bless me. Yes. An appointment letter? Yes, and she gave me an appointment letter. For what? So to one of the municipalities in, in Accra to work as an engineer there, as a road engineer. So you you were working in one of the municipalities yes. as an engineer? As a road engineer. Yes. As a road engineer. Yes. You became a contractor then? Yes. I had studied construction too in school, so basically it was... So then nobody would suspect that this guy doesn't know anything about the job. I studied construction, I studied civil engineering and stuff, so people would know. Mm-hmm. That, yes. So then I just went straight into the MCU's office mm-hmm. and he told me welcome. So then I just gave him the the appointment letter and that was it. And my office was just showing to me. But that is strange, that, yeah, strange that you would receive an appointment letter from a goddess. Mm-hmm. You you are the one going to, to seek for the job and then you carried your appointment letter there. Yes. And it worked. And it worked. That means that in this world we are being controlled by two. Mm-hmm. That is God Almighty mm-hmm. and the devil. He's giving the devil the chances to do that. But also he's giving us the power to withstand the devil. Mm. So then, let me say that if the MC mm-hmm. wasn't very prayerful or spiritually, mm. then I come to you definitely no matter it what. Work. Yes. Yes. But then if you are spiritually in Christ mm. and you believe in God Almighty, mm. and if you come to your office you pray, mm. you anoint your office with the blood of Christ. Mm. If I bring you a letter like that, you should see. So unaware, he just accepted you. Yes, accepted me and, and collected the appointment. Appointment letter, and I letter. started work the next day. So how did you carry all those, I mean, satanic stuff into your construction work? Uh-huh. What were you, you doing? See, there? Because I was working in the roads department. Yeah. Yes. So the roads that I construct. Yeah. Would be an accident-prone areas. Ooh. Accident-prone areas. So then, I let's say I constructed the roads, roads from you A constructed to B. were accident prone prone areas. Yes, serious ones or non serious ones, either minor or serious ones. Why would you construct? Uh, how do you do that? I mean, you, you say that you don't construct the road well or no. or, or, or what? What we, do you do? We construct the roads very well. But if you come for a special, it's it's the best. You would wonder how an engineer would supervise a work like that. We work. We would make you know we are working. Mm. The contract sum you give to us is not what we used to work. We add more money to that from the occultic yes. stuff. Yes, yes, from the brotherhood. Brotherhood. So, yes, we would add more money to that, and we construct the road to the best specification you can ever have. But that road, that road would be an kill a lot of people. Yes, 
Yes. How do you how do you cause accidents on the roads? How do we cause accidents on the road? We sometimes during those days we do it once a week or twice a week. So if we are on our meeting, we having a meeting there mm -hmm. because we have a monitor. So then we say, okay, you have a monitoring system. Yes, we had a monitoring system. I had one in my room. Monitoring the roads you had constructed. Yes. 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 Every road was being monitored. So then, if we know a bus is coming from A to B, yeah. then we watched. Some buses are there, they are pastors who preach. Some pastors just preach for their stomach. Hmm. So we see you pastor preaching for your stomach, then we are happy. Then we use you the pastor preaching. As what? As a distraction? Yes. The driver gets distracted by that. Not driver. only the driver, but then the passengers. Somebody would want to pray. Yeah. While I was on a journey. But because there is a pastor preaching, the, the attention is being drifted pray. to the pastor who is preaching. But then everything the pastor is just saying it's is just from the mouth. So mm. it's it's useless. It's not powerful. Then you the Christian there, you wouldn't meditate, you wouldn't pray, then you'd want to listen to the word. But the word coming is not good. So then either we cause um a car accident. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, like let me use a car accident. Yeah. Yes. A car accident is one. There will be bloodshed. If not, your tie we need to go then you crash mm -hmm. so you can crash there will be minor injuries in the car but there will be no death so far as you get the blood you get it and like so far as you waste your time mm -hmm. so now your time to go and work for Christ mm -hmm. is being wasted your time to go to work or like to go get money or finance it is mm -hmm. being wasted so then all those things come to us so you do that to get blood one mm -hmm. um, to keep your stuff running, running yeah. and then you also were doing that to sort of um, inhibit the work of God from, yes. from going on. Yes. What happens if um, Christians are, are in a car that travel on that road and um, they, they are very, I mean, they're spiritually sound, hmm. they, they're, 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 they're true Christians, what happens? Like yeah, <laughs> I'm a believer. We I had sit in such a so, car so many encounters with that too. Yeah, yes, Christians tell are us, believers. Tell us about some they come and encounters. like on their way. They always pray, like they meditate and they pray. Mm -hmm. Yes. Then, if we want to cause that, mm -hmm. if we just throw something or like a projection, mm -hmm. it goes. Then it comes as a form of U10. I don't know how do you explain that. I see the arrow or everything we've projected is going to hit them, but it doesn't. Then it's been blocked, then it returns back to us. No, so let, if it returns... this thing very well. You, you, when there is a strong believer in the car, mm. the person has sat in the car, has prayed, mm. and um, is plying those roads, yes. you, you still go ahead yes. to throw a weapon. Yes. But what you throw mm. comes back. Comes back, It yes. doesn't hit the car. No. No. It won't hit the car just because of just one person. Just one person in the bus can save the whole people. So then if it comes back, mm. because we see it in the monitor, yeah. and because I have always been monitoring, yeah. I see it first. Yeah. I dodge, then it hits those members who are there. Because if I go down, mm. the whole kingdom, the whole goes, kingdom down. goes down. So then I don't have to go down. So I see it coming. Then at times, one time... It hits one of the members, and what happens to the member? Oh. Like this get hit for some few months. Then you recover. Yes. Yeah, then like you, you recover. I remember, uh, 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 like there was an encounter. I, I got hit. Mm. Yes, I got hit, and the whole place, like our monitors, the whole chairs, the altar, the God that was the snake that we worshipped, mm -hmm. fell down. Ooh. Yes, yes, fell down, and I was severely punished, and I had to bring ten within a week. Ten, ten sacrifices words. within a week. Sacrifices of war. Of children within a week. And you got within ten seven days. I got ten, and I added one. You added one more child. Yes. Yeah, like that was a kind of challenge that, after I got to Christ, I really understood that. Yes. How often do we sow seed? Mm. Yes. If you are sowing the seed, let's say there's a harvest, mm. and you want to give like a thousand cities. Mm. Yes. But then you put a challenge to God. God. This is the only money that I have. Mm. When I go home, there's nothing for me. Mm. Then you put a challenge to God, and I'm putting a challenge to you. I'm giving you my all. So if in the satanic world, 
people would sacrifice like that and get results, then it means that we Christians are sleeping. Really, really, really sleeping. I see. <laughs> You said quite a number of um, businesses, yeah. apart from the taxi, work and pay thing um, that uh, you were using as a tool. There were other businesses that you, you set up. Yeah. What are some of those businesses? So, I had estates. Yeah. We had um, financial services. Churches. Church. I had a church. You, you had a church. Yes. You set up a church. Yes. In Ghana? No. <laughs> in Nigeria? Yes. Let's start from your estate. What happened to people who lived in your houses? Yeah. The houses. Because we work there. So then we... We just put um, uh, uh, our God. Yes. Like we set a God there as a runabout. In the runabout. Most of the estate is... Like you go there, there's a runabout. Yeah. Yes. So then no, no matter what you do, if you go in through the right, you'd come out to the left. So no matter what, you need to go round. Yeah. That means you going round, you are bound to that thing that is there. But you don't see that. Then one, before we build, before we build, we project that, okay, this person that is coming here, financially should go down. Or within a period of years, let's say it's 10 years or 5 years, your first child goes. Like let's say, if you are married, then your marriage begins to break down. Hmm. <laughs> Then the things that you think you, you should go up, it doesn't go up. Your business drops. Then that will bring a confusion between you and your wife. Then the purpose God has for you is being destroyed. Now your church going becomes dormant. You don't go to church, you don't pray. Then we get you because it's our estate. And, and that happened to... It happened. What, what if a, a strong believer comes to live in your house? For all the years that I was in, before you come, like before we accept mm -hmm. you inside, it needs to get to my table. Yeah. And before it gets to my table, I would already know your particulars. I get your particulars, I scream. If I know you are powerful, I don't want anything to happen to us, so then I don't. So you were able to weigh people's yes. spiritual weight? Yes, you weigh them. And I want to I want to buy the house. Why, why would you say you won't sell the house to me? It's been bought. You say it's been bought? Yeah, it's been bought. We're on the next phase. When it's ready, we call you. And you never make that call. Yes, and you never I make know. that call. Right then. So, what, what, what about the fin? You had a financial institution, a microfinance. Yes, yeah, savings and loans. Savings and loans. Yeah. How did you operate that? Savings and loans. Normally, we go there for help. That our businesses are going down, so we mm. go there for yeah. The money we give you is from our camp. So then we give you the money. You, you inject it into your business. It will work out for like a month or two. Then the business drops. Boom down you still come back to us maybe you've not been able to complete your loan agreement mm -hmm. we won't force you we won't send police and guards to you know we would give you another one we would show you we care so then we would give you another loan but this time one not as high as you wanted mm -hmm. so low then we will tell you oh, we have experts we have expertise let's come and help you in your business then we come then we help you grow for like six months then you finish paying all oh. so as soon as we leave the business will go down again so you would always run to us. So the money we inject into your business, it always comes back to us. Then you go down. Then you are always indebted to us. So then, this is the case that if you're always indebted to us and you think that the money is going so much, mm -hmm. either you run from where you are, that means you can't go to church. Your Christian life would go down. If you don't take care, you would feel that the whole world is against you. Suicide. You do suicide. Wow. Yes. So... Basically, like, that was how it was. I give you money, you are not being able to pay. Your business goes down. Everything just goes down the drain. Then you move into your village. Then you follow you there to your village. You follow the people up? Yes. Your, why? Yes. We you, follow you there until your you life becomes already, miserable. You have already stole. The devil comes to steal, to kill. You have already stolen, <laughs> killed. But you still continue to destroy. Yes. Yeah. Then... They just want to see your life being miserable. If a man is miserable, the whole house definitely is miserable. It's miserable. Exactly. I would always want to know the flip side of it. What happens if a believer walks into your office and says, I want a loan? Our money doesn't come back. When they come for the money, yes, our it money doesn't, doesn't come, come back. back. Yes. Some believers come for money. Oh, 
I need the money to claim my goods. I need the money for this business. I need the money. We we give it to them, and as soon as we give it to them, mm. they say, Lord, we soak this money into the blood of Jesus Christ. Whatever I do with it, let it work and flourish. That's all. So now, if you are coming to pay, we tell you, oh boys, you work with it, work with it, work. If if you want to bring the money back to us, we won't accept it. We tell you, boss, you work, you work, you work. Hey, I, I took yes. a loan from yes. you. Yes. I'm a believer. Yes. I'm coming to pay the loan. Mm. It was a loan. Yes, it was Why a loan. Why won't you collect yes. the loan? We want you to inject it into your, into your business. It is part of our core, our core values. It's to make sure you survive, like you grow in business. So you bring in as a man, oh, boss, you use it to work. Continue working, continue working. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, My people, please, I'm okay now. Mm. Then we'll tell you, why don't you open another branch set up a new branch it's going to work because and you bring us more clients so if you are not being able to get to you we would get to your friends who are not Christians uh, that you introduced to us smart yes <laughs> I see <laughs> so that's how you operated the financial institution yes, yes. and you wanted to move into a bank into a bank you wanted to move into a bank yes and now I realize the bank is in Ghana the bank is here in Ghana. Ghana. Yes, and they added a, yeah, they've added something to the name, mm. but yes, for security reasons, yes. not. And the bank is really operating in Ghana. And also, what's the bank's mission? It's the same thing. The same idea you were yes. running the financial, yes. the micro. Does that fi- microfinance still operate? For that, I have never had any call again. I have never had any call from. Any of the businesses that oh, but there's a meeting. Nobody has called me. Yeah, then we visited one of the offices. ever since you left the account. Yes, yeah, I've never had. So you can't really tell if they are. They yes, are, they are still in business. Yeah, like we we visited one of the offices. Yeah, yeah. it was at Kashima. <coughs> yeah, like let me just mention where. Yeah. It was. Yes, yes, it was at Kashima. Yeah, we visited there this this Thursday, mm-hmm. and we went there, and the whole place was scattered. And there was nothing there. The office. You the set office up was there. scattered. Yes, everything was scattered. Mm-hmm. I see. So it means that if God saves you and you're out, He wouldn't make what you used mm. get to other people because you set it up. Mm. Mm. You are saved now. Mm. So mm. then He should save the rest of the mm. people. That's what I believe for now. Now, when you sit down and you think, before I continue, when you sit down and you think about all these things that you have done, what comes to mind? How do you feel? How do I feel? How do I really feel? You know, <laughs> I feel sorry for myself sometimes. I feel pity. And why should I do all those things to Christians, to believers, to people that God created? Then if I come back into my senses and I pray, God, whoever I damaged or whoever I caused pain, mm. because you've been able to save me, save them. Save them. So then, always every prayer I pray, mm. 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 I make sure God remembers them. Financial institution, the brotherhood set that up. I mean, were there any other? Now the bank, <laughs> the bank is in Ghana. Um, the church, you had a church. Yeah. The church. There was a church. Where, 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 where was 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 the church? The church was in Nigeria. It was in Nigeria. Yes. States without. Of course. Yes. And there was a preacher man who always preached in the market. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. because I wasn't fully based in Nigeria, so then I wouldn't go as a pastor, no. Mm-hmm. So then I set up the church, mm-hmm. done all my sacrifices, and I know that as soon as it's commissioned them, we are starting, yeah. people will come. Then I go to the market where the pastors are there and they, and they preach, mm-hmm. and they preach. Then I go there, I weigh them, I see this man is only in for the stomach. Then I pick you up. Oga, okay. I mean, church, oh. Big when I come, come help me now. Mm. So then he will come. When he comes, then then so I will you give you a the pastor. Yes, I would employ the pastor, and I'll tell you. Let's use maybe Tuesday as an anointing service, mm. and every anointing service is the suit you need to wear. So I'll give you three suits. The, dev- the devil always has calculations: hmm. three to seven to twenty-one. Yeah. Yes. So then it's like they're all prophetic numbers. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So like then I'll tell you, this is the suit you'd use mm. for the anointing service. So anytime you wear that suit, now oh, if somebody needs a child, you get it. If somebody needs a breakthrough, the breakthrough. Just by wearing that suit during yes, by the anointing wearing, service. Yes. 
Yes, during the anointing service, and you come and you preach. Because that suit, I wouldn't use ordain. I don't want to use ordain because ordain is from heaven, it's yeah. from God. Yes. But then that suit has been used for something else. Mm. So if you come, the suit you are wearing, the suit you are wearing is what is doing the work, not you. Mm. Because you are just an empty vessel. As empty as we are, God uses us. Mm. So then the suit you are wearing is covered up. Mm. You've been covered up by the suit. So you perform the miracles and people just rush in. And you people. think you're so anointed. You're so anointed and then... And the people, uh, especially my women and my mothers, we just troop in. Mm. We troop in. How and they would get the there. church? The church grew. Was that big? For the first start, we had, uh, I think, our first recording was 120 people. First start? For the start. Just the first day was 120. And we had only one man. Only one man? Only one man for the start. the church? Yes. All the hundred and twenty people were women. One hundred and nineteen were women. One hundred and nineteen yes. were women. Yes. Who only only one, one man was a man. Yes. For a start. Yes. And it grew. And within a three a, months, a, a, like within a yeah, next three yeah, months, yeah, he had. <laughs> <laughs> and for I mean, how fast did the church grow? This is growing, because you'd come. Oh, I need a job. I've applied. I've applied to so many interviews. Like they are not calling me for interviews. We would call you. Okay, you come, get his anointing oil, use this at this time, pray to God. Use it at this time, pray to God and do this. Mm. And the next day, if you go, you'll be called for an interview. You go, you get a job. So mm. then you come and pay your tithe. The tithe you are paying, you are paying as if you are paying to God, but you pay the tithe to what? It's your money you bring in. Ooh. So you bring the money. So now you are working. You, you receive your salary at the end of the month. You don't know what you, you do with. Mm. So then always, it's as if you are working for the devil. You work, you get nothing. Wow. Yes. And it grew into thousands. Thousands and thousands, thousands, thousands. And anytime I go there, mm -hmm. I am like there's a visiting man of God mm. from Ghana coming. You go there as a visiting man? Yes, yes, man as a God. visiting man of God with no title. Mm. There's a visiting man of God. I go there, I just preach just for, it's not preaching, I just talk for like 10 minutes, 15 minutes with Psalms. I use Psalms. With 10, you 15, use yes. Like with 10, 15 minutes, you then. You give them a talk. Yes. Just uh, da, 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 da. like you just do that and <laughs> and anointing flows and just, that's, and that's five caption. ten minutes in the caption mm. in the caption sing to God hallelujah today we are going to sing to God the walls of Jericho was broken down by what by just singing hallelujah let somebody say amen, amen. they say amen then I'm, we start singing yeah, saying amen. <laughs> <laughs> and they start singing and they start singing and, and anointing just flows. Hey, you woman, I see you here. This and this and this and that. And you start prophesying. Fake. Because the gate, there was only one gate that is open for them to enter. Mm -hmm. So as soon as you enter, you are being linked. So we know your worries and your pains, you come into the church. That's how you operate word of knowledge. Yes. And even now. Is the church still there? For that, I believe it's been destroyed. But even now, some pastors who came to me for help, mm. that is what they used. Pastors in came Ghana, to you? Majority of them in Ghana. So if you are listening, you stop. Pastors came to you? Yes. Ghanaian pastors? Ghanaian. They are still on radios. Popular ones. Popular ones. Very anointed ones, in quotes. They came to you? Yes. And for they are what? very powerful. For Power. powers. To operate their church. And they are still operating. They are still operating. Yeah, like, them just give one scenario that our believers you know. Yeah. Yeah. You go to a church mm -hmm. for counseling. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the pastor just counsels you, counsel, 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 in the church auditorium or in his office. Then, if he's coming back to preach, he doesn't come back at the same door he uses. Or mm -hmm. after the counseling, he goes back mm -hmm. into a different room or into his chambers before he comes back for it. It's a sign. It's a sign. Yes. And you enter into a church. Mm -hmm. There's always one door you enter into. Mm -hmm. They will tell you, you are late, so just go through this door. You are late, go through this door. You are late, go through this door. It's also a sign. Yes. I and see. anytime a pastor wants to perform a miracle or a prophecy, they use certain words. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes, they use certain words. And for security reasons, let me just go yeah, into the word. Yeah, but but um, I mean, these are clues. I think that the people have to be educated, and um, these are clues that yeah. people should watch out for. Yeah. I mean, um, when you enter in a church, and 
they would always want to direct you direct, yeah. through a particular door mm. every time. Mm. The pastor has a funny way of entering yes. and exiting. exiting. It's, it's a clue. Yeah. If he wants to perform miracles, mm. if he wants to prophesy, mm. there are certain words that he says. He sings. How 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 do those words sound like like as, um, an, a, a prayer or an incantation? Yes, it sounds like a prayer. But if you don't have the spirit of discernment, you mm. wouldn't be able to. You know. Yes. It's a sign. It's a sign. And they all came to you. Yes. Young pastors. Yes. Very popular ones. Still on radio. I think Joy some you know. Um, joy hits and those and they come. Joy, joy doesn't accept <laughs> those things. I mean, that's why pastors are employed. Yes, but they're, 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 yeah, they're yeah, yeah, on, on a yeah, lot of the radios yeah. and on TVs. They are there most of the time. They're on TVs. I see. I see. Anyway, <laughs> you are involved. Um, <laughs> they are someone. Before we take uh, text text messages, there's something very important I uh, want to ask you. You were manufacturing makeups. Yes. Oh. oh. Pons. Yes. What are they call. It's not only makeup. It's not the only makeup. Sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's only makeups. Yes. What well, normally? Makeups. What, yes. What were like, you? What they call pawns and and stuff. We manufacture wigs, like so many things, dresses. The wigs that mm -hmm. use for their hair. Yes. Yeah, like the weeks and they and used to braid their hair. Yes, and, and Michaela's own is not a mom. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> you are manufacturing all that. Yes, the, um, and the and for the point eyeshadow. Yeah, like the eyeshadow, and they have something that they put on their eye. Like maybe I'm referring to you. Eyebrows or Yeah, something. Mascara. Oh, and good. Rouge mascara, and eh? mascara, mascara. Things. Yes, like those things are manufactured. You were manufacturing all those things. Yes, yes. Yes, yeah. And the major ones were the points. What do you? How? What were you manufacturing them from? Yeah, like we use bones of dead people. Then we bones mash. of dead people. Yes, yeah, and they mash it until it becomes powder. Then they put it in um, um, a container. Yeah, like let's say we do ten of them. Mm. Yes, and we go to the sea. You go to the sea. Yes, and we drop all the ten within mm. fifteen to twenty minutes. Mm -hmm. Within 15 to 20 minutes, it will come back in thousand folds. <laughs> then we send it into the market and the buyer. So if you apply, if you're a woman and you apply it, you'll be attracted. You'll be very attractive. Men will come to you. If men comes to you, you see, we are using you as an agent. Mm -hmm. So if the man comes to you, the man also becomes an agent. So people, women who buy these things and use them, become very attractive yeah. now the men they attract hmm. are also initiated yes how just by having contact with them yes you don't only have to have sexual intercourse with them no mm. just by their contact you are initiated just the the intent your mind thinking about and yes. desiring and for desiring it desiring for it yes like that is a word and desiring for it that's how we use will have to save us you were into manufacturing and you were manufacturing makeup wig a, a um, Peruvian hair Brazilian hair Italian hair all those things um, um, uh, uh, those nails mm. you were manufacturing all that yeah. and you, you were using that mm. to get people initiate people yeah by women buying them and using you were using dead um, bones of bones, dead people yes. you, you you grind it into powder yes. and use it to man what what else were you manufacturing cars phones you were manufacturing it. cars yes but not me i wasn't manufacturing them. and you use your people yes like <laughs> we got to a point i was uh, uh, i was in charge in um uh, 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 in the factory you were in charge of the factory. Yes, I, I was in charge in the factory in the marine world. So then I go there for inspections, like before it comes up. How do you do that? How do you go there? Yeah, I go there in Seoul. I go there. So in you do Seoul, Seoul travel? Body. Yes, yes, I do Seoul travel. Then I, then I go there. I go inspect them, like before it comes up. Underwater. Yes, underwater. So those. Everything on earth is there. 
everything we see now is there. It's like an estate. Everything is being. They walk, they talk, they work. It's life. It's There's just life. life. Yes, it's just life. So, like, you just go there, like, you just go inspect and you say, okay, this car, I want the lifespan of this car, the tie should be six months. So then, like, you buy a car within exactly six months of tie. Po. Mm. And it goes, if you don't crash, like, you would have to use your money to buy another tie. The money you're using to buy that tie comes into your coffers. You have contact with yeah. the person. I see. <laughs> like somebody would ask, how do the car come? Mm. Yes. How how do they come? Yeah. How do they come yeah, from there? They come from the sea, just like that. They would come. They would rise. I don't want to use rise, but they would come from the sea. I see they driving on the sea. They would come and they would land. Ah. They would come into the land. Physical. Physically, physically, physically. I yes, yeah. Physically, physically. I've observed them on several times. It comes. I see. Yes, it comes no drivers. No, the car comes by itself. Yes, it just comes by itself, no drivers. So, so how do you sell that to people? So then, if you're a lady and you are by the roadside and you always, your intention is always to stop cars to sit in. <laughs> I see. Yes, as soon Those as it's been targets. signaled. Yes, as soon as it's been signaled that somebody is on the roadside stopping, then from nowhere there will be a man sitting in. But then you realize the man won't talk. Oh, why? Where are you going? I'm here. Okay, that is it. And he tries to play a music, he won't talk. Until you get to your destination, then he stops. Oh, is that where you are? Is this where you stay? He said, oh, okay. Then the next day, or maybe some few weeks or a few months, he will try to pay a visit to check if you're okay. Mm. Then there he starts from there. Ah. Uh, eventually, it, what is the end product? You take the person into the sea? Oh, no. No. They would either visit you in your dreams. Normally, they initiate people through dreams. So, if we initiate you through your dreams, or if not through the dreams, then through sexual intercourse. Because my old papa. Mm. So then, at least, I'll be nice. I'll be a gentleman to visit you always mm. to do so many things for you. Then you'd always want to get me closer to you. This dream initiation thing, how should one guard against it? <laughs> like one prayer my Godfather told me was, if I'm praying, just soak your bed mm. and your whole room into the blood of Jesus Christ. That is all. If your I blood see. is soaked into the, if your bed is soaked into the blood of Jesus Christ, that is all. That's the all. devil can't even come near you. And your whole room, your atmosphere is in charge. Mm. And you electrify the atmosphere, mm. pulled it up to the highest voltage. Nobody can cross over. We uh, are not through yet. God willing, next week we will be continuing, 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 continuing. Continuing, 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 continuing.